Hello and welcome to 365 Days of Excelling with Clive. This is day 111 and today we are looking at the clean function. So when and where do we use a clean function and how do we use it? So sometimes you get or you download a report from a particular system and because of the way that system operates or the way that system creates an Excel function, it might have some non-printable which you don't necessarily need in your end report and which might cause some formulas not to work properly or some or your reports not to work properly. So how do you get rid of those non-printable characters? So for example, here you can see if I select this cell here, A2, you can see the text in A2, I can see it in the formula box here. But if I select here, in H2, I cannot see my formula. I cannot see the, this text here. If I extend this uh, formula box, you can see there is a non-printable uh, function here, which is causing my text to overlap to next row here. So it's going to next row. And also at the end of my text here, you can see there is a gap here. But if I go do the same in A2, you can see there is nothing behind the text and nothing after the text. That's what I want. So how can I get rid of the extra spaces? So to get rid of the extra spaces, you make use of a formula called clean. So if I say equal clean, and I select the text, that's the only one argument you need in your formula and you close your bracket. And I say, I can drag it down. Then let me paste them as values. If I paste them as values, you can see now there is nothing after my text and nothing behind my text. But if I just do a straight equal sign equal to this and drag it down and do the same and paste values, you will see that there is the space to exist. So I have to use the clean function in order to get rid of extra spaces. So this is how you can get rid of the extra spaces. But now the question you might ask is, how do you get those extra spaces? What character is there? So if I come here on my second uh, set of data, here you can see I have numbers one, two, three, four, five in my cell here, but they are arranged going downwards and not going to the right. So to do that, if I am to, end, to, uh, to enter the next number, which is number six, I would press out. Then whilst pressing the key out, I press enter. Then I type in six. So you can see this is how you can enter a num numbers uh, going down like that. So this is the character which is existing in in here, you can see this character is the character which is uh, existing between, uh, which is helping me to enter the text down here. So that uh, character here. So if I use clean, if I want these numbers to be in one uh, row, I can make use of the clean formula. I can say clean, then I just say equal this and say, so I get my numbers going right to the right. So this is how you can use clean formula. And it's quite a key formula in your data cleansing, especially if you work with uh, data capturers and you want to clean your data after you receive the data. This is quite a good formula to make use of. Thank you. Bye-bye.